Good morning, y'all. Welcome to Jetty Rocks Fishing, and I'm Mike D. Well, today we're going to do another trash fish or treasure, and we're going to be using two different species today. We're going to be using the bluefish and the jack Revelle. And just for the record, I don't consider them trash fish, and this is why. Today we're going to be making a smoke fish dip. Stay tuned, y'all. This is going to be good. Uh, let's see what we got here. You're running towards me. Fighting real good. Oh, now he's starting to fight. Now he's starting to fight. Uh, let's see what we got here. A Jack or Bell. All right. He's got both my plugs on him. Holy cow. All right. This gives me an idea though. Alright man, it's awesome. I got a little mess. My guy's nice jack. So I'm gonna save him from either some fish dip. I might even use them for shark bait. Wind's got me going towards them pretty quick. Hopefully I don't lose them. Oh, another ladyfish. No, that's a jumping blue. How about that? Come on, bluefish. Alright, decent blue right there guys, decent blue. Alright. Alright. Not no monster bruiser, but it is the target species. I see some smoked fish dip in my future, y'all. Alright guys. I got my bluefish here. I got three nice little bluefish. Not the big bruisers I was after, but it's a lot better than nothing. And I'll show you how to clean some bluefish. And what I use these for, basically every bluefish I get, I save them till I get enough and I make smoked fish dip out of them. It is excellent, in my opinion, they are the best fish to use for smoked fish dip, along with Jack Revelle. Right, there's how I clean my bluefish. Super easy to clean. If you have your limit, your 10 fish, they're really fast to go through. It don't take no time at all to clean 10 bluefish. All right, guys, I'm at the cleaning table. I have my Jack Revell here. Some people consider this a trash fish. Me personally, Jacks and bluefish, I do not consider trash fish because they make the absolute best fish dip. If you've ever made smoked fish dip with mullet, that's great and all, but you need to try it with bluefish and Jack Revell. It is absolutely amazing there you go guys there's your nice jack jack revel fillets all right guys i got my fire started let this go for a little bit till them coals get nice and white i'll put some wood on we'll get the fish ready and we'll be ready to make some fish dip y'all all right guys my coals are looking good Things going good. I got my fish here, all seasoned. And you got to remember one thing: gops, G-O-P-S, garlic, onion, pepper, and salt. That's what I season my fish with, and that's the only thing I season them with. And also, I do not brine my fish first. I know a lot of people do. Some people say that's the way you should do it, but I find. If I don't brine them, I just get a better taste. I don't know why, I just do. So I don't brine my fish, I do salt them. It is a heavy amount of seasonings on here because this is also gonna be the seasonings for the dip. Because we're just gonna take the fillets, we're gonna process them in a food processor, get them chopped up real fine, and all that seasonings goes in with it. Well, I'm gonna get these here on in a minute we'll start the smoking process. Now guys, well I like to give my fish a real heavy smoke for the first hour. 
and I smoke them for three hours. So I'm going to put a piece of wood on here and I like to use hickory. And we'll let this go for a minute, then I'll put the fish on. Alright guys, it's smoking pretty good. About time for me to put the fish on. We got it at 300 degrees. I like it to be a little bit lower, but I can't seem to get it down too much right now. So 300 is not too bad actually. Be a little bit quicker fit, uh, cooking process, but we're gonna go ahead and put the fish on. I got my fish here. We're gonna start off with my Jack Crevels. And I only season one side of the fish. I don't want to get so much seasoning in the fish dip that it's difficult to eat. So, also got a couple Spanish mackerel fillets we're going to put on. And we got our blue fish. guys I got my fish on this should only take a couple hours and we'll be able to make some fish dip we'll be going over to my dad's house today to finish up the fish dip process all right guys I got the fish on I got it smoking it's smoking pretty good I did get it to come down to 250 so I'm very happy about that I'm just going to tell you a little bit about my smoker here this is a what I call the Franken smoker it is pieces of different grills put together and made into a smoker. It ain't the best looking thing, but man, this thing works and it makes some really good smoked food. I've done everything on it, briskets, fish, ribs, pork butts, picnics, excellent. All right guys, I'm gonna let these cook a couple hours and I'll see y'all in a little while. All right guys, it's been an hour looking good y'all I added some uh, sheephead fillets because I wanted a little bit more dip I didn't have any more bluefish so I added a couple more fillets of sheephead never done that before but I'm sure it won't hurt nothing all right guys I'm gonna give it about another 45 minutes and we'll be able to take them off all right guys well we chopped up some celery and onion we got one large onion one large onion two small stalks of celery and we got the fish here all done and yes I'm at my dad's house now so we're gonna get these chopped up now and we'll start making the dip because right, basically what we do guys is we just break up the fish pieces we put it in this little small uh, food processor here and then um, let's chop it all up as you'll see right here These things are off. You need to get one. Chop it real fine. Yep. That looks like that, y'all. Check it. Just make sure there's no fine pieces, no pieces that didn't get chopped. So basically, this is what you're looking for right here, guys. And any big pieces you find like this, you can put it back in there and chop it up or you need it. Like I just did. Alright guys, well here's all the fish chopped up. Roughly we got three pounds of a smoked bluefish and Jack Crevel. And we did add a couple fillets of sheephead to give us a little bit more. And I uh, had two little small fillets of a small Spanish that I caught. So we're going to get together here, we're going to start adding some seasoning, some spices, and we'll put some cream cheese in it, and we'll get this All thing. Alright guys, i got my onions and my celery mixed in it. 
Right now, I'm gonna get this all mixed up. Then we'll start adding some other stuff. All right, guys, we're adding the cream cheese in, and we softened it. We put it in the microwave for what? 30 seconds? Less than that. Less than 30 seconds. And get it all softened up, so it's easier to mix in. So let me mix this up. All right, guys. Now to our mixture we got there, which is some cream cheese, the onions, the celery, and the smoked fish. We're going to add some lemon juice, some Old Bay, some horseradish, a little bit more garlic, some Worcestershire sauce, this is very important, and some mayonnaise. And I'll put the recipe in the link in the description, or not the link rather, but the recipe will be in the description with how much we put of each thing. So let's get to going. We'll get this mixed. Alright guys, well here it is. We got it all mixed up. My dad's gonna try it real quick. So what do you think? I think just a little more seasoning. A little more seasoning? Alright guys, here's the finished product. Got it all mixed up. So I'm going to taste it real quick. There you go, what it looks like. It's awesome. Absolutely amazing. You got any more crackers? Summer's going to try it. It's a big old helping of it. What do you think, kiddo? You like it? You love it, don't you? <laughs> Alright guys, I'm going to let my dad taste it real quick since he's the one who actually made it. Go for it, Pop. So what do you think? Good? Now what's your opinion on mullet versus bluefish? Bluefish makes a much better uh, dip. I agree, 100%. Alright guys, I'm going to show you what I, how I store mine. I put them in these little containers. And uh, what I don't eat today or eat this weekend, I will put in the freezer. And they store really well in the freezer. They thaw out real nice. And the guys at work love this stuff. Hey, y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. A little trash fish or treasure of the Jackervilles and the bluefish. Making some kicking smoked fish dip. Something I like to do with my father. You know, I go out and catch them and do the smoking. And he does most of the mixing and making the ingredients of the uh, fish dip. It's actually his recipe, and it's a very good recipe. Well, I appreciate each and every one of you all for watching this video. And here in the future, I'll probably be doing some more Jack Cravel catch and cooks and trash fish or treasures because I like to eat them in a, a lot of different ways. They're really good fish. On um, the bluefish, mainly, I uh, just do the smoked fish dip. And uh, sometimes I'll eat them baked, but mainly just fish dip with the bluefish. I appreciate you guys for watching this video, and I appreciate each and every one of y'all for subscribing to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, why don't you guys go ahead and go down there and hit that little subscribe button, and hit my thumbs up if you like my video, and shoot me a comment. I like talking to everybody. Well, guys, it's like good to see you again soon here on the water. Tie lines, y'all.